friends, we're Tina and Kiefer, and today we're heading to the Baltimore Christmas Market from Washington, D.C. We have arrived at the Baltimore Christmas Market, or just outside of it, where we parked uh, illegally along with everyone else. So. Okay, we're not here to be bad influences, just to be honest. Everyone else is doing it. The website does encourage you to book parking ahead of time, and you can save money. We'll make sure to put a link in the description. The market's open daily with the last day being December 24th. There's both an outdoor and indoor part. The outdoor part of the market is always free and open to the public. Rich and creamy holiday spiced eggnog. Can't go wrong, right? <laughs> We're trying our first holiday cocktail. This is the Naughty Nog or something like that. It's a spiced eggnog. I'm not really an eggnog fan, but let's see. Keep ordered this. Okay, better than expected. That's pretty good. That's <laughs> fine. Yeah, it's strong. Yeah. <laughs> you like it? Unexpected. Yeah, it's great. Throughout the market, you'll find traditional German wooden booths with traditional food, drinks, and sweets. So we found a raclette stand out here at the Baltimore Christmas Market. So they bring out some cheese and it's it's melted and you scoop the cheese out right along with your vegetables or your meats and you just eat it all together. So. Pretty excellent that they got a stand here for it. Some of the savory options we found were worst or sausages, German pretzels, and raclette. Yeah, what did we get here? We found ourselves an authentic German pretzel sold to us by a legitimate German. We spoke a little bit with her, she was super lovely. We got mustard, which always goes over in Germany. We're gonna bite into a little pretzel. Pretzel fries, pretzel fries. Some of the sweets we found were crepes. You can get savory too. These beautiful chocolates, mini donuts, and lots of sweet hot drinks. The reason we came to Baltimore's Christmas Market is because we read that it was so German. I mean, we lived in Germany for three years, but now that we're here, I wasn't sure what to expect, but it really is. They have Hofbrau beer, they have schnitzel, they have worst cooking right behind us in the authentic way where it hangs over the fire. And we're like just at the beginning of the market, so more to come, but it's very German, very cool so far. You'll also find booths with handmade gifts from both local and international vendors. It's such a great place to do some Christmas shopping for unique gifts. The market is actually modeled after real traditional German Christmas markets, like the famous one in Nuremberg, the Christkindl Mart. They even have an authentic Christmas pyramid as their centerpiece, and it really ties the whole theme together. Underneath the Christmas pyramid is where you'll find the glue vine, which is essential at any German Christmas market. They also have other drink options like apple cider, hot toddies, hot chocolate, and Irish coffee. Team saw the boot online, so of course we're, we got to go home with the boot. <laughs> it's twelve dollars for the regular mug, uh, and it's thirteen for the boot. So you might as well pay the extra dollar and get a boot. Yeah, that's this is what we came here for. <laughs> the boot. Okay, we came here for the blue vine. We came here for a lot of things. So I have to try this. It's been a long time. What is it? Oh, blue vine is a spice iced wine, so it typically has like orange, cinnamon, um, star anise, all the good things, and then it's simmered. Sometimes it has bourbon in it, but I don't know if this one does. All the German Christmas markets always do different mugs every year, and Baltimore has their own. So they have the boo. I got blueberry blue vine, which I haven't had before, but it sounded really good, so I wanted to try something different. Oh yeah, that's really good. This just goes on. Oh yeah, it does. As you walk down the waterfront, you'll find what seems to be the world's fastest Ferris wheel. That thing is just going, look at that. <laughs> that's the fastest moving Ferris wheel I've ever seen. You get it quick. Everything on the East Coast is faster, including the Ferris wheel. <laughs> <laughs> So what we found really unique about the Baltimore Christmas Market is it takes place right here on the river. So you can see all this wonderful reflection from the Christmas lights and different things. There's a lot of great colors. So just definitely different. How cool. All the way at the other end of the waterfront is where you'll find the ice skating rink and the view is so beautiful. You ready to get out there? So <laughs> I hate ice skating. At least with rentals. Maybe I'll get a pair someday that feels good. But in case you're wondering if you got to come from where the major action is down to here because you see the lights like we did. 
the lights are just from the trees at the very end of the street. They circle the ice skating rink here, which is beautiful, but not really a part of the Christmas market. So. Do not skip the inside part, the little winter market, because they have a ton more trinkets and ornaments and things to buy in there. And they have some like live shows in there and taste testings and other things to do. The heated tent is full of things that you won't find in the outside part of the market. It's free during the week, but it's $5 on the weekends for adults. I would say it's definitely worth going inside and paying the $5. They have a beer garden, serving drinks, they have a stage for different events. There's an improv comedy group while we were there. But in this tent is where you'll find the really authentic German gifts and goods. They have so many German food items like mustards, pickles, sauerkraut, marzipan, spatzel, dumplings, cookies, coffees, and bottled glue wine that you'll definitely want to pick up for gifts if not just for yourself. The crafts they have inside are legitimately what you'd find at a Christmas market in Germany. There are lots of handmade wood gifts, ornaments, Christmas village houses, dolls, figurines, scarves, and more. We won't spoil everything for you. So if you, you're here and you've uh, not had the chance to go to Germany or you have and you didn't get the chance to buy a gift, it looks like you can get the authentic cuckoo clocks here or the steins. They make a, a really popular gift when it comes to German gifts. So you can find them here at the Baltimore Christmas Market, which is very cool. So overall, the Baltimore Christmas Market was pretty incredible. It was super German, which, you know, you read online, yeah, it's German. No, it really was. The food, some of the people, um, the drinks, the blue line, everything. But overall, highly recommend. It's on the waterfront. Baltimore is beautiful. The people are so nice, and it was such a good time. But wait, 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 don't go anywhere. You're already in Baltimore, so drive over to the Hampton neighborhood to see a fun Baltimore Christmas tradition. Street in the Hampton neighborhood in Baltimore, and they call this whole street where they light up the row homes the Miracle at 34th Street. Which I think gets overlooked in regards to Baltimore because of the Christmas market, but we saw this on the internet and the entire street, all of these row homes just show out during Christmas and the lights are spectacular. This has been going on for 76 years. The lights are on every day from the first Saturday after Thanksgiving until New Year's Day starting at 5 p.m. It's completely free to go and it is so cool. Make sure to check out the famous Hubcap Christmas tree and have a great time. Thanks so much for watching and happy holidays, friends. Make sure to subscribe if you had fun. Bye.